Tuesday morning, and it's going to be a nice day out there. 58 degrees already. Americans love their four-legged friends. In fact, according to the National Retail Federation, we are expected to spend approximately $355 million on pet costumes this year, like this one. The, oh, look at the little poop. That's a little bit. That's Katie. Our friend Katie's little bit. Katie's little bit. She dressed her dog up as the Pope. But there's a lot of different costumes for dogs these days. Your Excellency. So we're talking <laughs> about trends in costumes. Pet trendologist Charlotte Reed and her dog Ty are here with a look at the popular trends this year. The only problem really is choosing, I think. Happy Halloween, happy first Halloween. of all. Look at you. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. <laughs> You're right. That is the biggest problem. What are you going to do? How are you going to plan your costume? Well, yeah. the most popular costumes, according to the National Retail Federation, are pumpkins and devils, <laughs> as well as beloved pop culture characters like Ty. And Ty is Batman, if you can see his little Look bat out. Ty. Ty Look his at little your cape. <laughs> Look at your cape. But what do you do for a dog that doesn't like to be? Dressed a up. A lot of right. dogs don't like the costume. So what do you you think of something? Right. A great economic alternative is pet paint, which okay. is basically paint, vet safe, pet safe in a can. And we've got some pictures to show everyone. You use the great phenomenal stencil kit, oh and God. you can paint is that with, Mike the, with the eight primary colors. No. Actually, that dog was a rescue dog, and by painting him, he got adopted. Oh then we gosh. also have another picture of what you can do. Something very simple: <laughs> wow. a black dog with white paint. But this stuff's so safe for it. dogs, right? It's safe and vet approved for dogs, okay. and it comes with a stencil kit and a setting spray. Four ninety nine. How about that? Cool. And the paint is about just a little less than ten dollars. Very economical. Next. Next up, we know what the biggest danger for trick or treat is, and that's candy for right, pets. Right, right. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate as well as sugar free candy that has xylitol. Very, right, very bad for pets. Right. And we've got some little, the poppy little characters right there. But now, what we pet parents want, because these days people take their pet trick or treating as well and they go to activities, so they want natural, domestically ingredients. Treats like loving pets, and we've got these great, it's purely natural treats. So, when you have trick or treaters, four legged trick or treaters who come to the door, you can give them some nice loving pet treats. I hope I get some. It diverts the dogs away from wanting the candy, right? Absolutely, yeah. because candy can also be a hazard with the yeah, wrappers sure. and everything else. Okay, next up. The doorbell's ringing. Your pet is super, super stressed. What do you do? You want to think about something that can relax him. So Pet Relief makes a CBD tincture, which you can add in the water or the food, or actually directly put it in his mouth. You're gonna for dogs and cats. You're gonna do a dropper, which has That's about right there, which is gonna be about two full drops, half an hour before the trick or treaters come, and one full dropper for the cat. And what's nice about it, it's non psychoactive, so you don't have to worry about your pet getting a little high out there. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. He'll be really relaxed. And what's nice about hemp is it's Superfood. It's packed with omega 3, 6s, and 9. A bottle like this is about $34.99, but you can use it as a daily supplement. Too. And we're short on time, but Leo, this is about watching your house when your pet is alone? Well, actually, Leo's great. It's a fire safety device. It came out of California, and what you do is you plug it in, you connect it to the Leo Smart App Alert, sure. and you will know because it'll hear your smoke alarm as well as your carbon monoxide detector. If it goes off, it'll alert you as well as anybody on your list, family members, so you can call the fire department and protect. Your pets. It's about $99. You could buy it at Home Depot. And last but not least, you want to create a nice retreat for your pets so they're not worried when people come to the door. So, PetMate makes these great bolster beds by Aspen Pet, these JW Holy Treats. You can see the treats right there. You can stuff little treats in it, and your pet oh. will stay totally relaxed the whole time. The blue one is a translucent crate, and then the one on the bottom is the Ultra Vary Kennel. This way, you know where your pet is, and he doesn't have to worry about the. Spooky noises <laughs> of the absolute. Well, it's, a lot, day. it's a lot for pets to deal with. On it really, day. really it is. All yes. the people. Thank you, yeah. Charlotte. Thank you so much for having very, me. Very, very cute. And, and I'll probably be back for Christmas with Oh, love. yes, <laughs> because we Twice. have to stuff those pet stockings. Hank, I know you have some bad news about the traffic. Yeah, we do. Breaking news out of the traffic.